How's everybody doing today? And as you can see, we are continuing on episode three of the zero overall franchise with the Miami Marlins. We're currently 0-28, not going too well. So if you missed yes, uh, last episode, episode two, in the top right hand corner, there's a little click clickable link. Go and click that so you guys can get caught up on everything that's going on. So hit the like button keep showing the support that you guys have been doing it's been amazing you guys are awesome subscribe if you are new and enjoyed the content and just keep leaving some feedback what you guys like what you guys don't like who's your favorite player currently what you guys think we could do to make this series a little bit more interesting i'm always looking for new ideas i'm always looking for your feedback so i can take notes i read every single one of your comments and take notes to see how we can fine tune this series to make it even better so with that being said there were two polls I had you guys vote in the last episode one um, should we be able to acqu uh, acquire new players and two should we be able to upgrade players based on their performance you guys voted yes for both by a large amount so what we're gonna do is I talked to two other youtubers draft neck mark and bangle and they kind of helped me come up with systems for both ideas and what we came up with is for acquiring new players oh let me backtrack a little bit for both we are only able to upgrade players or acquire new players during the off season that way we're not getting anything mixed up during the season or jumbled up or we mess anything up so basically the off season is when we're going to make any roster moves and player upgrades so that's there's that um so for acquiring a new player we can acquire a new player for every single win that we get so if we end up with one win throughout the entire year we can only get one new player through free agency or trading so that's there's that um, and we're gonna cap it for season one at 70 overall and I wanted to keep it at 70 because that's still one of the best players we're gonna have in the team but also it's not too big of a player where it's gonna just dramatically change the series I didn't want to go out and sign Bryce Harper first offseason I think that takes away from the whole point of the series I want to be able to take these one overall players and develop them see how quickly they develop because that's kind of the point of the series see how long it takes us to get this really really bad team into a pretty good team so I think signing the top players will take away from that so there's the whole acquiring new players um, situation one win equals one new player and we're gonna do it during the offseason upgrading players so for batters this is what we came up with 25 hits is a plus five contact boost um, for righties and lefties so as you can see our bet our most hits is from Victor Victor Mesa as it should be um, 18 hits um, second is Clyde Niles with 16 hits so I think 25 is a good little benchmark for now so every 25 hits we will give a plus five contact um, righties and lefties all right five home runs equals five power so every five homers is five power so and that's also verse righties and verse lefties so um the only player that has home runs right now is victor victor mesa so at the end of the season for the hitters power and contact is based on how many hits and how many home runs they get for speed boost, you guys have been mentioning a lot about speed. I definitely want to find a way to boost players' speed. So for every 10 extra base hits, they get a plus 5 speed boost um, or speed um, a growth in their speed. And also, 5 stolen bases equals 5 speed. So there's two ways they can boost their speed. So there's that for players. Um, now moving into the pitchers, we kind of have a little bit of an issue here. But I think this is still a good benchmark. Every 50 innings is going to be a plus 5 stamina boost. Um, the issue here is our relievers are having double the innings pitched that our starters are having. So it's kind of difficult to have our starters have less stamina than our relievers. But I still think 50, stam uh, 50 innings pitched is a good benchmark for a plus 5 stamina boost. And then 25 strikeouts is going to be a plus 5 boost in stats to all the per nine categories so plus five in hits per nine case per nine walks per nine and home runs per nine so that's how pitchers are going to grow during the season so 
those two things I discussed are all going to be put in the description. It's going to be under like a little rules category. That way you guys can never get jumbled up about what I said and it will all be described there in the description. It will always be typed out so you guys don't ever have to fret or have to continuously ask me, you know, how did these players get upgraded? How did we get these new players and things like that? So that's it for that. Another thing I wanted to discuss is season one, I want to have it done by episode four or five because I want season two to really be okay we have our off season we have a new player hopefully or two or three and um also we are um just getting players upgraded so i really want to get through season one um quickly maybe season two a little bit be a little bit longer but season one i definitely want to get through by season uh by episode four or five so what i'm thinking today is we're going to do the draft as well as play a game so this episode might be a little bit longer because we are including the draft, but um, the draft and we're going to be playing probably the Baltimore Orioles, but I'm noticing the Giants are pretty bad too. So if we can get a good matchup versus the Giants, maybe play the Giants instead of the Orioles. So I'm kind of hoping to get through May and June today to get through it as well as the draft. So hopefully that'll be it for season one. So again, hit the like button if you guys have been enjoying this series. Um, and again, let, let me know some comments on what you guys think we should do a little bit differently to make this um, series a little bit better. So that's it. Um, yeah, the next time we'll uh, be talking is draft day. So I'll catch you guys then. Alrighty, draft day. And we have the 13th pick. We'll definitely have to see how this goes. Hopefully we have someone that I have lined up still available. Alrighty, so catcher is definitely an area I want to improve. Kevin Page looks pretty decent hitting wise, fielding even, you know, not too bad either. I definitely think this could be a good option for us. Round one, probably not the best, <laughs> the best choice, but you know what? We definitely need a catcher. Next one we're gonna go with is Troy Lee out of South Korea, um, a reliever. I think this is definitely another area we're gonna need to improve on all right we're gonna go third baseman Stuart Merrill here kind of going we've only drafted one pitcher which is I think a definite need for us but you know what I feel like adding if we can score more runs than our opponents we we should be okay but at the same time I don't know if we can score more <laughs> runs than our opponent Christopher Robles I think we're gonna go with him um every player I had scouted was like the good ones was gone round one so we've been kind of again just guessing just guessing all right we're going sean robles another third baseman the power is really what drew me to him he can also play corner outfield and first base i'm thinking going pitching the last couple rounds hopefully it goes well for us all right we're gonna go richard humphrey here we're gonna go ray almanzar here not the highest potential player but just some of the stats look decent and that's that's gonna round it up i'm hoping hoping it goes well Alrighty, i'm this is amazing holy cow this draft class is really really good whole like one of the better ones i've had in quite some time for a rebuild kevin page 57 overall contacts already a 70 and he's got a 94 potential there we go it's definitely gonna sign him up just yes next up we have a troy lee he's got 86 potential the reliever got some break already good velocity just uh, decent stats already so must pick up even the third baseman he's only got 71 potential but for us that's solid right now 81 stealing hitting stats could be a little bit better but you know what they're better than what we currently have 71 potential 54 overall i'll take it christopher robles is already a 69 overall what 86 potential as well solid draft 60 overall for sean robles good power already and he's an 87 potential even just like this draft class was nuts last two picks didn't go too well only 70 potential for both of them but you know what not still definite upgrades to what we have 61 overall for richard humphrey got some solid hits per nine home runs per nine walks per nine i like that um, and then the last one was Ray Almanzar, 67 overall currently. He's got some decent stamina, good velocity, not too bad at all. I'm really looking forward to seeing um, both Robles 
develop as well as Lee and Paige. They definitely should be superstars for the future. So that's the draft class. As you guys can see, heading into the month of June, we are still defeated. We are 0-61. I think we put up three runs on somebody. Oh yeah, the Dodgers. We put up three runs on the Dodgers. Not, not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. I think that's... Oh! We put up five on the Padres. Okay. Baby steps. Baby steps. So, I'm thinking the Orioles are probably the best bet for us. The Twins are pretty bad too, but I, they're the same as the Orioles. So, I'm thinking we're going to play the Orioles because I don't know if we play the Twins anytime soon. Or we may have already played the Twins at this point. So, I'm thinking... The Orioles are definitely the team we want to play. So let's let's get into that series and uh, see how it goes, man. All right, let's let's do this because uh, this is our one chance. You can see Baltimore leads the series 2-0, and basically I didn't want to face their two best pitchers. So I feel like going against Andrew Kashner, who's one in nine with a 7-3 ERA, is our best chance of uh, getting a getting a win. So let's hop into it. I guess we're gonna rock our black. We I think we rocked our black last time. So let's let's switch it up. Or one of the episodes, I'm pretty sure we rocked our black one. So let's rock let's rock the orange jerseys. I feel like we haven't rocked the, the orange jerseys yet. Um Milton's not full energy, so I don't want to take the chance. We're gonna go with You know what? No, we'll take a chance. We'll go Abraham Milton. Alrighty, so I did a little bit of a change with the lineup. Some players were tired. So Rodney Rain's not playing. Or Rain Rodney. I think I'm messing up his name. He's not playing. And then um, Captain Thick is not playing as well. Along with Pepito. Amer Americo Pepito. I'm messing up his name. He's not playing either. Um, they needed some rest. Their energy bars were at absolutely nothing. And as you can see, we're going against Andrew Kashner here. I can't believe I'm messing up players' names already. I shouldn't be doing that, you know? Um, it's Pepito America. That's what it is. 071 is our record. Not too good at all. 26 and 46. But those orange unis, those orange jerseys are looking nice. So maybe they'll bring us some good luck today against the horrible Andrew Kashner. So Danilo Prince. Ooh, he's got two homers on the year. Okay. Okay, let's see if he uh, he can deliver for us. All right, 1-0. That's a good start for us. And you know what? We're going to start off with a leadoff hit. Nice start to the game. Danilo Prince delivering there. Okay. Okay, we got Victor Victor Mesa now. Four homers on the season. 199 average. Not the best, but definitely could be worse. Come on. We got to do this. We need a hit here. We can't waste this opportunity. I swung. I swung. How are you not going to tell me I didn't swing? I hit the button and he check swung. I hit the button and he check swung. And that was a good pitch to swing at. And now I'm going to waste this opportunity. I can't believe this is going to come all to nothing. All right. Oh, one count. Man, this is not good. We're going to go hit and run. We're doing something crazy here. We need something. You know what? And that worked. It worked perfectly. First and second, two outs. Oh, man, that was perfect hit and run execution there. Montague splitting the gap. Ooh. Look at that step, though. That is a massive stride. I shouldn't have swung. That would have been ball three. Oh, man, I got to be more patient. 2-1 count. Oh, I thought we had it. I honestly thought we just got to run. I thought that was getting down the line. For sure. Like, no joke. I thought that was getting down the line. Oh, no. One, one count. Okay. I'm so glad that went foul because that is 100% a double with 83 speed for VR. Nice little slider in. Okay. Okay. I'll take it. I'll take it. 82 speed on first rather than 82 speed on second. He's probably still going to try to steal in the corner. And uh, we could be in some trouble here. Ooh, one, two count. Okay. One, two count. Ooh, 
Is this going to be out number two? It is. Jax Ambrose makes the play. Two outs here. All right, Mark Trumbo. This is this is where I kind of worry a little bit. Oh, make it. Get it. Oh, second base didn't react fast enough. I, I actually think we could have had him if Ambrose make the play. Yeah, we get out of it. No runs scored with the runner in scoring position. That is clutch. That is super clutch. All right. 2-0 count. Not bad. Not bad. Hitters count for sure. I'm expecting something good to hit here. Ooh. Ooh, get through. No. Can we we need we need something to get to the wall. We need a double for sure. But you know what? I'll take a one out single. We're get we're getting some hits. We're getting hits. That's a good start. All right, we're looking at a one two count. This is uh, all or nothing here. We're going for uh, we're going for hit and run again. That worked. Maybe. Ooh, this might work. This might work. Oh, it's not going to because Maverick Moss is so slow. All right, o two count. Here we go. Ooh, he didn't go after it. I thought maybe, just maybe, we could have gotten him. We're going with the slider, though. That, that should do it. Ooh, it doesn't. Mm, that's not good. 2-2 two, two now. We can't be throwing too many balls. We need to hit our spots. Jax Ambrose is getting some work here in right. No. No. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. I jinxed it. No. Ooh, 2-1 two, count. Okay, 2-2. Two, 2-2, two. Two, two, okay. All right, that's going to get the run home, unfortunately. Mm. Okay, it's only one run, though. It's only one run. The issue is we don't have any outs right now. That's that's a bit of an issue. Are you, are you kidding me? What was that? Get the lead runner. Come on. We got the lead runner. Okay. Okay. So the double play is off, unfortunately. But you know what? We got one out now. Ooh, I thought we had him. I thought we had him for sure. 0-2 oh, count. We're going with the slider. Oh, that's too much of the plate. That was way too much of the plate. Gets the K. Oh, that was clutch. The guy was on third. Two outs. And he gets the strikeout. Milton's last inning that was that was perfect only one run scores I feel like we're gonna score a run this game we've been getting hits that's not a good hit that's definitely not what we needed mm. Mm. oh one oh is that gonna get through this is gonna get through 90 or 89 speed on first now one out Montague, what we need is a base hit, and you're one for one. You can do it. Oh, please get through the middle. It's not going to get through the middle. No. 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 We have more hits than them. We have four hits to their three, and it all came down. Um, it was that error. It was that error that hurt us. All right. Dario Lennard's coming in. Oh, what? I thought that was going to be a routine play. This is a triple. I thought that was going to be a routine fly. That's why I wasn't talking. All of a sudden, he drops it, and now what happens? We got a runner on third. I can't believe that just happened. And that's the run. Two runs now, all just two outfield errors. Like, if they catch those balls, they don't score. Oh, that's a good strike, though. That's a good strike. That's that's perfect. That's what we need. We're going with the cutter down and away. Hit your spots. Oh, snap. Is Yancey Esmond going to make the play? He made the play. 
He made the play. He makes that play. But he didn't make the line drive that was hit right at him. You got to be kidding me. Egbert Dillon's rocking a 1-2 count right now. We're going to hit it up with the Vulcan change. Gets the strikeout. Clutch. So two runs now that we're down. Both of them outfield mistakes. I don't know if it's a lapse lapse of, of you know, paying attention or what, but uh, is that going to go foul? It is. It is. All right. All right. Full count. That's going to drop. Just keep it in front. Okay. It's a single. Okay. It's only a single. That's not bad. That's not bad. All right. Come on. I need one more out. That's all we need. Ooh, that was a good, that's a good change up right there. Hit him with the slider. Right at Montague. Another scoreless inning. It's, we just got to get the bats scoring some runs. We need some runs. We have one less hit than them. Oh, man. We, we, we can do this. All right. Boniface, I need you to start us off right. That's not a strike. That's not good. Alright, there we go. We do get a call there. We get the strike there. Alright. You're going to let that one drop. That's cool. And you're not going to catch it on the bounce. Okay. Alright, we need a double play right here. Double play is clutch. That's not going to do it. Oh, man. Uh-oh. Could this, could this be the collapse? Are you serious? Like, why? We're doing, we're doing so well. We're doing, we're just, we're doing so well. And I think we're, we're in some trouble now. We have no energy. One, two count. Which is, come on. Uh, I don't think we're going to get him. Three to nothing. Oh, man. I thought maybe, just maybe, we could do it. Face the switch hitting VR. One out. Guy on second. Guy's out. Going to third. Okay, two outs. It is a 1-0 count. But you know what? We do have two outs now. That's good. Alrighty. One, one. That's that's trouble. That's trouble. That's a double. If he would have taken that cleanly off the wall, we maybe had a chance throwing him out at second. But a two out double. That's. Ooh, that's a good strike. That's a nice pitch right there. We, we need this out. We can't. 2-2. Two, two. Oh, no. No. He's going to beat it out. No. 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 Two pitchers. Like, I needed one of those guys to get me through the inning. I don't even think we're going to get him out of third. Oh, we do. Okay. So two runs score, but man, if those two runs could have been avoided, we would have been in such a good spot here. All right, Tim Beckham does have an RBI on the day, but you know what? That's okay. Ooh, that's a nice pitch. 0-1 count. Two outs. Oh, that was a good pitch. Ooh, that slurp hung up way way too much can we go high fastball maybe get the out or hit him all right sinker down in the zone make the play at first come on danilo prince there we go another shut out inning honestly this might be the most we've ever had in a game we've only allowed four runs man it all comes down to this inning I don't I don't know. Four runs. It's going to be tough. 
Especially when Victor Victor Mesa doesn't get on. Man. All right. Clyde Niles. 0-2. Man, this is going to be rough. Ooh, okay. Okay, a little base knock. Okay, a little, little base knock there. That's not bad. So, guy on first. Unfortunately, it's not Mesa. If it was Mesa, it would have been really nice. But, okay. Whenever we needed, like, a catch from the outfielder or we needed just one hit, we just couldn't capitalize on it. We got everything else done right except for that one thing. And that's going to be the game. Unfortunately, we are going to lose 4 to nothing to the Orioles. I think that's the closest game we've ever had sim or played and i felt like this was a really really close game like we i this if we could have scored in the beginning we could have been in such a good position it's just unfortunately didn't just didn't turn that way and that that sucks so much i feel like we did so well at like one point we had five hits and they had uh four and we were down two nothing so it just Oh, that is, that, that's a frustrating one to lose. That's a frustrating game to lose because we should have won that. But unfortunately, that just didn't happen. So let's, let's sim to deadline day and get caught up to see how we're doing. Alrighty, so as you guys can see at the deadline day, we are 0 and 108. We haven't won a game. We did actually have another 0 uh, zero to four loss against the Diamondbacks and a zero to five loss against the Diamondbacks. So, you know, again, not bad games. It's just I, we, I mean, we're not putting up runs, um, and that's that's just what it comes. I mean, we're just we're not a good team, and it sucks. So, looking forward for the rest of the series, I'm thinking our other opportunities to win games are very very limited, and that's not something that. I like I mean looking at it I mean just looking at the teams we have to a lot of divisional games I think the Blue Jays is and the Pirates are our next best chance to win a game the Blue Jays and the Pirates so that might be have might have to be like a, a double header in one episode um, and that's how we're going to round out the season. So next episode is probably going to be the end of the season. We're probably going to have to do a doubleheader. Pirates and Blue Jays. See if we can get one win on the season. I would be happy with one. I really just want to be able to acquire one player this offseason. So we'll have to see how it goes. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you did, make sure you hit that like button. And subscribe if you're new to the channel. There's a playlist for all the franchise videos. So you guys, if you ever miss one. You can always go back to that playlist and watch it. Man, I'm I'm really salty about that game. I thought we could have won that. I really do think we could have won that game. And unfortunately, when we needed that one last that one last hit or that catch or something, we just couldn't capitalize on it. So I hope you guys enjoyed it once again. And I'll catch you all in the next video. Peace.